Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of the Hash Time videos. This is Hash and today we are currently in the fourth episode of the 1.16 key crap. So I had a lot of people complaining about my bad audio. Well guess what? Next week I'm buying a new I'm I'm gonna buy a microphone. I'm gonna order online but it's gonna take about nine days to arrive. So finally people are not are gonna stop complaining about how bad my audio is. So you guys are going to start enjoying my content more often than you usually do. So today we're going to be talking about the RS knowledges. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. So let's just get into it. Before you get started, I just want to quickly mention something. In case you're wondering why I was not uploading for four days. Well, I hope this will make you understand. So the reason why I was not uploading for four days is because of this. A multi-floor elevator controlled by a lighting. Let's say I want to go to... Floor 2, that means you must open page 2 and then you take you to floor 2. Pretty cool, right? This thing was a painful process. It took me 4 days to build. Now I understand why no one has ever tried to build this thing because this thing is a very, very painful process to go through. So, without further ado, let's just get into this video. By Mambo Jumbo, Dropper Flash Hopper RS No Ledge. So, this one is quite simple. Someone walk and trip the trip wire, then this happens. Then the alarm goes off. You can take your output right there and put it to a jukebox or something. And then when they took it again, the thing is going to go off, but nothing happens. Until you decided to come here and then press this button and then it goes off. Okay, now let's go to number two. So number two is quite simple. As you can see, it's already activated. So this is the output. And when you press this again, nothing happens until you come here and press this thing again. So this one, the way it works. Okay, so in case you're wondering this one, how it works. See, these droppers here are facing into one another. So when you press this button, this item here, so there's a random item here, which is the button. You can put any item in there, and it's going to go to that dropper. And then when you press it again, nothing happens because you're just going to keep powering this dropper right here. And when until you press this one, and then the same, this, this thing happens. So when you do this, you go to that. And then when you do this again, nothing happens until you do this. You press this button on this side. And then this number two, the way it works is that, well, you got to press this button to make it work. So when you press this button, as you can see, this one goes off, which make this rest one goes off. And this one goes on. And when this one goes on, it's going to power this plug and then power that rest on. We're going to number three. Number three works exactly the same thing, but I actually used target plugs because they redirect the signal. If you don't want to know what I'm talking about, as you can see, if I, if I were to place a block here, let me just show you that in a sec. If I were to place a random block here, you can see this radio side is now pointing into this thing, so it's not powering this block. Unless if you decide to use a target block. So there you go. When you use a target block, it's gonna work. Let me just, yeah, there you go. It's back in the side. Oh, and also a button, but it doesn't matter. We're done with it. So now let's move on to number three. Oh, I mean number four. So number four, how it works is that while someone comes, oh, it's already activated. Let me deactivate it. Okay, I, I know that the probably didn't tell where's the output. So this is the output. You can take your output from this redstone la line here. Or you can just take your output from, yeah, the bottom of this redstone line or the blocks that are next to, to uh, uh, at the bottom of this redstone line here. So the way that this works is someone trip the wire hook. And then when that happens, you, you're going to activate these pistons, and then if you try to trigger it again, nothing will happen. You can see that light over there, it's on, and when they try to do it again, nothing's going to happen because the rest, of, the rest of is still on. Until they decide to come here and deactivate it by that button over here, you can see it goes off. And when they do that again, it's not going to happen, nothing's going to happen again until you go and press here. So you know what I think, in case you're wondering how this is going to work? See, this part is outside, and then this part is inside your house. If you hear your alarm system goes, off, goes off, going on, so someone is outside, activate this thing, and someone and you inside to stop the alarm from from ringing or anything like that, you're just going to press the one over there. So here we're on the fourth one over here. So this one works very, very simple. So when you press this button, as you can see, this happens. So when this happens, in case you didn't know, there's something called bad, bad powering in Java. So this one only works in Java edition. If you're you're in other editions here, this is sticky piston. But if you're in Java, if you're in other edition, you have to use a non-sticky piston. This is a sticky piston. So 
this one works this way so when you press this button it's going to it's going to power this piston pushing this piston block here and then you get the output on this side so there you go see that's quite simple and then if you do that again because this thing is about power it's not gonna come down so there you go nothing is happening it's not gonna come down until you press this button when you press this button this redstone block is gonna move here and it's gonna move back and after moving back because this thing is on four ticks so it takes four ticks of a second to get here and then after it moved back that means as you move there this piston is going to retract and come down so when it come down this one's gonna come back here and then this piston is gonna push it down so let me just show that in a second so there you go it's gonna come back and it's gonna go down so now let's go to the where are we now look at the three four five now let's go to number six so now we are in the number six so this one works this way so this it's outside and this is inside so number six was similar to number four over there so number six when you press this button this redstone does get powered and then when you do that again nothing's gonna happen and the reason how this works is that well when you power this redstone dust over here this repeater get powered which then make a round like system over here but if you use a comparator here that's gonna work it's just gonna use it's just gonna work like a pass extender so because i use a repeater which then extend the signal by 15 so that means the output is 16 14 13 12 and then back to 15 13 14 12 and this is gonna stay just like that and if you try to press it again nothing's gonna happen because you're just gonna keep powering the redstone dust until you decide to come here and on this card here you cut the redstone wiring here so that redstone dust over here is powered by this block over here but when you do this it's going to get retracted and then go, go back so when you tell you cut the redstone signal okay now let's go to number seven this is one that i recommend you use so this is the one that you must use this is the one that you must use look at it this is this, this there's nothing under there there is nothing under there guys so this is all the redstone here this is everything see this just one two three four four uh, it, it only takes six by two areas it's very very small so i recommend using this one or the one at the first or the one at the second or third but this one is also usable because look at this thing so when you press this button you're going to activate this plant and because this is, is a nine sticky piston or just a regular piston or a normal piston it's not going to retract the block so it's going to keep doing this you're going to keep doing this nothing's going to happen until you come here and activate it and then there you go so yeah now that you act you deactivate you push it here if you use sticky pistons this is not gonna work if even, even if you use sticky piston on this side nothing's gonna happen and now let's move to number so we're on number eight and this is this is outside and this is inside and when someone outside trigger this thing you get an output over there and when they keep pressing on it nothing's gonna happen nothing's gonna happen until you come inside and then do this so the way that this works as you can see we have a torch under there so the way that this works is that when you do this this is gonna fire and this this is going to fire twice it's gonna fire and then go back and fire again and go back so when it, when that happens it's, it's gonna drop its block so as you can see this is not this is not a sticky piston just a normal piston and yeah when that happens it comes okay so this one come over here and then it get powered by resting touch under it when we get an output so when you press it again because it's a non-sticky piston nothing's gonna happen as you can see nothing's happening until you come here and push the block back and you leave a space here and nothing is powering this rest on lamp over here now let's go the way that number nine works is that well you come over here and then you press the so this is outside and inside is this part over here this hole right here so you can have that hole inside your home so yeah there we go let's when you do this it's gonna break the repeater i i don't know if you did see that so let me just press the repeater here so when you press the repeater here we get this this is how it does at first okay when you press the repeater it's gonna power this block and then power and power this redstone piece so this this is an all this is a no gate and then this redstone Oh, this redstone lamp here get unpowered because this is get this is the source of the power that have to power this redstone blow this redstone lamp over here and then when you decide to so this is outside when you press this button this block over here this 
piston over here sorry it's been a long day this piston over here is gonna break this repeater because a repeater is a breakable block so when it does that it's get in case you're wondering where it went so it went it's, it's getting caught by this slab here and then it went under hopper and went into the chest so when you come inside and you're gonna take that repeater back and then you're gonna place it back where it was so you take that repeater back and you're gonna place it right where it was so and then the alarm system goes off now let's go to the most simple one which is the number 10 here we're on the number 10 this is one of the simple ones that i recommend you building and in case you're wondering where these things come from so from number one and two they are from mambo jambo but number three up to ten which is the eight of them so eight of them are by me so eight of them are just me messing around oh i think i said this before so let's just do the number 10 so the number 10 the way it works is that wait what's going on oh we forgot to press a button so let's just go ahead and place a button okay so you just gonna place a button here so there you go so the way that it works is that when you do this and when you do that again and as it happens but you may realize that well we have no way of removing this thing well you're just gonna put your netherite pickaxe here so you're just gonna put a unique around pickaxe here and then you're gonna break this thing and then you're gonna collect it and then you're gonna put it right down there again so now you're gonna put it right down there i'm too lazy to go back and take it again so yeah you're gonna break it but because i am in creative mode then it's, it's not gonna fall down when you break it so you, you're just gonna break what's here and then it's gonna fall so today guys who that was a lot of things right so consider subscribing if you if you really like this video and also like this video share it with your family and friends and yeah with anyone share it with anyone and this has been hash and i'm out